there is a reason why Raspberry Pi has a headless client and that's the reason. So I'm going to show you how to connect your Raspberry Pi to a various devices uh, via uh, LAN cable, via router and how to enable internet via Linux and Windows as well. So stay tuned for the tutorial. So first step is very simple. All we have to do is just take Raspberry, plug it in, plug the power in and then find our assigned IP. Our Raspberry is connected to router. It has assigned IP. All we have to do right now is find it. We can do it using application called Thing or you can just log into your router and check it there. I'm just going to use application. It's a very quick way to snoop on your network and get all the IP you need. Right, as you can see on the screen there, we have uh, IP assigned to Raspberry, so let's get going. We're going to connect it to Windows and we're going to connect it to Linux. In this part, I'm going to show you how to connect to Raspberry Pi connected to the router using Linux. We know that our Raspberry is connected to a router and it has internet. So we can use secure shell connection to, in, in, to start terminal session from the Raspberry. So we're going to use the a command SSH in order to do so. Then we're gonna follow it by username from Raspberry Pi, which is Pi by default, then at and the IP that has been assigned by the router. So in my case, it's 192168011. Now the password given, uh, it's the, by default, it's a Raspberry, unless you've changed it. So Right now we connected to the Raspberry and the terminal session is running. There's few things that we can do. Let's start with creating a desktop environment so we could connect and see what's going on on the Raspberry itself. There's few things that we have to install and prepare before we can do it. So let's start with installing the VNC server. This command allows you to install packages from internet if you know the name and the name for the server is tight VNC server. Now while this is installing, we're going to install a viewer on our machine, on our laptop. So I'm just going to start a new terminal session and that's happening on the laptop. The name for it is X Tide VNC Viewer. Also, we're going to need another software which will be responsible for displaying everything, and I'm going to use Remina. You can either go to many. and to the store. Or you can use a terminal itself. I'm going to use a terminal because it's quicker. While this is installing, let's jump to the uh, Raspberry terminal and we're going to start the server by typing the uh, application name. Okay, you've probably been asked for a password at this point, I did that previously. And once you do this and enter your passwords, uh, your information about the uh, virtual desktop you have created is here. So we've got a Raspberry Pi and it's running on desktop one. So let's connect to it. My uh, Remina is already uh, installed, so let's open it. We want to select protocol VNC. Our server is our IP for the Pi. and we're connecting to desktop one. Now our username is Pi, 
and the password it's not the one that you've entered for the Raspberry, it's the one that you've entered during the setup for the server. I'm going to select higher color depth and good quality. And then we can connect. You can either save the information and just double click it to connect. And there you go, we have an operating system of the Raspberry available to you. So in this section, we're going to connect uh, via Ethernet cable using Linux machine, share remote desktop and connect to internet as well. Once our device is connected, uh, after a few seconds, the Raspberry uh, should be powered on and we can start working on it. All right, open your connections in the network and we're going to look for the IP coming from that uh, Raspberry device. As you can see on the screen right now, there is an IP assigned already to our connection. So take a note of this because we're going to need it in a second. We'll have to manually specify similar IP that is going to be assigned at the root level uh, to our Raspberry Pi. We do this by ejecting the card and assigning it in a config file. There are two partitions on your um, SD card. Uh, the one we're interested in is a boot. Have a look at the uh, command line TXT file. Take, make a copy of it to make sure we're not going to corrupt it in any way. Open it and we'll edit it. We're going to add IP just in the same line. So IP equals and then 10.42.0 and then two instead of one as we're going to use similar IP to make the connection possible. Once this is completed, just save the file, eject the microcard and put it back right into the uh, Raspberry Pi. When the Raspberry Pi is powered on, he will assign the IP we've used in a text file uh, and this, this is how the connection is going to be made between our uh, computer and Raspberry. We're going to modify our connection, assign the custom name, select the MAC address and in IPv4 connection profile, we're going to select to shared to other computers. Our job is nearly done in here. Just make sure the correct uh, profile is selected if you have more than one profile. Now, open a terminal session as we're going to connect via secure shell to the terminal session on the Raspberry Pi. To start the connection, we're going to use the command SSH followed by the login name. The default login name is pi and then at followed by the IP that we assign on the file. So it's 10.42.02. We'll be prompted to use the password. Uh, by default, this is Raspberry. As you can see, connection has been successful. And right now, whatever we're going to type, it's going to happen on the terminal level from the Raspberry Pi. In our next step, we're making sure that the Raspberry is able to find correct uh, gateway. We're using sudo root at default gateway and then followed by IP from our laptop, which is 10.42.0.1. This should assure that we've got internet connection. Time to download the VNC server. We're going to use sudo apt get install command and uh, choose package name Tight BNC server. That command allows us to download and install applications and packages from internet to our machine. It takes few moments to install and when it's done we are able to run a server. When the download and installation is complete we're going to go through the startup. So just type in the package name Tight BNC server. It will prompt you to set a password I've done that already and then it will display on what screen your um, remote desktop is presented. We can see it's going to happen on the screen one. Let's jump to the terminal session on your computer. We want to install in the same way a viewer, VNC viewer. Using sudo apt get install, we're going to download X tied VNC viewer application from internet. The second thing that we need to install on our computer, 
is the actual application to handle uh, the remote uh, desktop, which is Remina. You can either do this by terminal command or you can click on the uh, software applications shop in uh, many of your Linux distribution. Also, because in this case we're using Remina, we will need a special plugin that uh, enables BNC support for this application. So uh, another package to download for us, which is Remina plugin BNC. Once everything is done and installed, we're ready to actually connect to the Raspberry Pi and open remote uh, desktop. Open Remina on your computer and we'll start setting up the connection. We can start a new connection. And as you already know, this is a BNC protocol. So select this. You can assign custom name like Raspberry Pi or whatever you desire. Our server will contain the IP of our Raspberry Pi, which is 104202, followed by a colon and a desktop number, which is 1. This is the same desktop information that you can find in a console displayed there. So the username, the default one is Pi, and the password during the setup when you were running uh, the tight VNC server, you've been prompted to set the password. This is the same password to enter here, not the default Raspberry one. Then there is a few more options responsible for quality of our desktop session, and then we can start connecting. As you can see, within a few moments, the connection is established and we have a Raspberry Pi desktop available to us. And as you can see, we are able to connect to website as well. Thanks for watching guys, leave the comment below, like the video and subscribe for more videos. Bye!